So he's the choir master. Let's go. Ready? There is a land far, far away. It's God that is above. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian. Um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. So, thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. Yes, we have a little time. This is a course, Simpson. If this is your first time of checking me out, kindly click on the subscription button and let us all know be part of this beautiful YouTube family. So today I'm not alone in this video. Yes, I have a beautiful sister right here and a, and a handsome brother right there. Yes. So this is what happened. Every year I decided to travel from 2019 to travel to other African countries to see how beautiful the motherland is. So I started with Kenya, Tanzania, Togo, Benin. And then this year, I was like, hey, let's do East Africa again, but this time with a different country. So that is what I do. So I spoke to my sister. She used to complain. What was the complaint about? <laughs> <laughs> Tell her. So always when he plans a trip, he just go by himself and then all I will see is, he wouldn't even tell me he's leaving. All I will see is pictures flying up on social media and all that. So, when he came back, I was like, hey, you, when you're going, you don't tell me, and I mean, you don't say anything, you don't inform me or nothing, and then you just go, and then you always tease us with pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, this time, I told her, I informed her that, yo, baby says, she's called Portia, anyway. So, I said, Portia, um, I will be traveling, so what's up? He said, Hey brother, this time I'm going with you. I'm already packed. Even the day I told her she was already packed. That means <laughs> she was eager to go with me. And I spoke to my brother too. We've already had that conversation of traveling around together. So I was like, Greg, um, what's up? And then what did you say? I said, I've always been ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we picked up a date. Uh, we scheduled something. And now we are here in ITU Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 In Ethiopia, El Selassie's country, Emperor Emperor El Selassie. Mm -hmm. You know, I love Ethiopia because of one thing. Um, I hear of um, El Selassie, um, the Pan Africanism, together with Kwame Nkrumah and other, you know, deep deep African um, leaders. They try to put Africa in one, you know, into one um, basket, in so that we can spend one money, um, speak one language, and all that. So hey. Uh, the preparation, that is what I want to talk about. How was the preparation like? What did you really do? I just packed, got my menu ready, and then we got the best <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a good. Yeah, I packed, got my money ready, got the visa, mm -hmm. and then we can. <laughs> okay, great. What did you do to get here? Oh, anyway, we all know because of COVID now. And we have a lot of travel restrictions. Mm. So basically, um, in order to make any trip, first of all, you need to do this COVID test. Yeah. But the COVID test must be done, let's say, um, 72 so hours right. to your trip. So the COVID test, and you must get your job. Those of you who are going <laughs> to the vaccination, yeah. you need to be vaccinated, and then you need to get your the card, card because they will, they will ask for it. And then a country like Ethiopia, they do either visa on arrival or Online visa for mm -hmm. tourists, yes. Yeah. So basically, I did the online visa, I paid online. Okay. You put the payment in the so it's late. You actually <laughs> so then, of course, then you get you get your money and then you do your parking, that's all. Uh, what we did okay. was we did a lot of research yeah, of course, as to yeah, yeah. where to sleep. Mm -hmm. Don't think because it's Africa and you look, I mean, this video is for everybody, but I'm yeah. just saying that if you think you look, you're an African, like your, your, your skin color is this way, so you can come and easily, you know. Uh, mixed with the people, it's a little bit different. So we did research, like he said, we took the job because certain countries they will ask for it, and now it has become a norm. You don't do it, you don't travel. Yes. Yeah, so then we got our um, yellow fever, 
and we have our passport. We we did a ticketing, and then we flew all the way. But most importantly, we tried to get in touch. Uh, in touch yes, with the local yeah. Yeah. Yes, that is very very important. Yo 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 yo. If you want to come to or travel to any country, not just Ethiopia, try and connect. How did you how did you meet the local guy? I think I connected with him via couch surfing. Couch surfing. Yes. So I just updated my status that I'll be traveling to Ethiopia and Kigali. Mm -hmm. And then people came to me with offers like, hey, I'm a native here. And when you come, just call me. I will be able to assist you. So I mean, I'm among the people who actually contacted me. I saw this guy was very forthcoming with information. Mm -hmm. So what is his name? He's so he's 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 so shout out so to Israel. 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 Like, yeah. When we came here, he's been, he's he's been, been so supportive. Yeah. Yeah. He even did a booking yesterday for us before. You know, yeah. he booked online, they cancelled it. Yeah, but he has to he, call. He came and did everything for us. Yeah, so getting a local contact is very important. And now, when we got to the airport, they said we were late. All because of this guy. Defend yourself. Yeah. They said that we were late. Yeah. Yeah, checking and, in. And 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 the funny thing was the lady was like, No, we're closing the game, we're closing the game. Yo, that that time I didn't give them face. You know, sometimes when you know certain things, you don't have to allow them to cheat. Because they have to close the game. If they don't put that bar thing there, they don't have to tell them they've closed the gate. Yeah. So they were like, they've closed the game, we should we should go back. Go back to where? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right so we spoke to them we that was the first time traveling so tell us the process what did you go through um when Laura. we got there when we got there to do the check-in we there was this man standing there he took my passport and i think he scanned it mm -hmm. and then he got my other uh Document. documents yeah the other document that i need to travel with and then like I your went visa to, yeah ticket. yeah exactly my visa my ticket and then everything I mean every uh, travel document and mm -hmm. then I went to the nurse person to um what did they do? get the ticket do? yeah she get no she gave it she took your passport you put your bag on the thing. exactly exactly mm -hmm. exactly so. okay so Greg what about you what was the process like for you it was a smooth process but then the only thing that caught my eye was. The immigration guy who asked me my occupation, I told him I'm a teacher. <laughs> he, then he goes like, teacher, now I drip you see. Now teacher is vacation. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, he asked me the same thing. No, teachers, teachers will also go on vacation. You know? <laughs> teachers, we suffer a lot, actually. Yeah. So when we get some more time, we also try to explore and then tell it shed up some of the burdens yeah. on our heads, you know. Right. During the lockdown, I know some of you have children, only your two children were giving you hell at home. <laughs> Someone said he <laughs> wanted to sell up the children. But you know, these same stubborn children, you gather them about 15, 20, 30 of them, and you bring them to one teacher to teach them. We really go through it. You know? I mean, we got there, the guy asked us what occupation we do. We said we are teachers. And he looked at us like top from, from the top to the bottom, like, how can a teacher be traveling? So in Ghana, when you're a teacher, they think you are poor. Anyway, that is aside. So we got into the plane. And then I realized, I was thinking, she wasn't sitting by me, but I realized when the plane was about to, you know, take off, that feeling, how was it like? There was a certain feeling, like when it's about to take off like that, it's like, when the money will start me. I think okay, this flight was just, yeah, that is me, one I thing. I thought I was going to feel some kind of strange thing, but yeah. I mean, it, was, it was just, okay, no, I was like, so is this what people are saying when the plane is about to take off it, 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 it but that is one thing i would say about ethiopian airline they are very perfect when it comes to flying and landing London. i've done two trips with them and it's always beautiful so shout out to ethiopian airline, airline. if you're in africa and you're around the world and we say we want to support the african business and i think we should use more of ethiopian airlines so we got in the food is that the food was wrong? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, the food. Should I mention that thing? What? It's okay. No, 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 mention it. Do you know what? Okay, I'm see. Hey, I like that. Don't fall asleep. No, you guys say so. Some more to say. So when they brought the food, we were sitting side by side, and they asked us, 
the drink that we want. We yeah. took water. The right. rest was wine, wine, alcohol. Wine, we wine, took wine, wine. how many bottles? Four. No, three. four. We took four. 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 Like, the, she she bought the first two, and then when she was checking these people, she brought another one. Then the one that looks like the white the one. White one. No, yeah, the white one. Yeah. Yeah. So it was. Three yeah, unless I forget, I have one in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> so the food was was okay. <laughs> so we were we were a little bit tipsy in the yeah. plane, and then I mean everything was beautiful. This is this uh, this this video just to let you know that when we come together we can accomplish certain things together you know it was beautiful in the airplane um when we landed it was very cool but i oh, think yes. i think that's yes. one of the most when important we, research is that we we skipped we skipped yeah. I'm sorry, when you're traveling to any country you need to check, sure um, check the climate the climate yeah. in order to even pick your clothes yeah you know because <laughs> the two countries that i brought <laughs> i just brought them actually and i i tell you Yesterday he came in very handy. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm my, sure some of you came with some skimpy dresses. <laughs> Where they're going to see? Yes, actually, I had packed a lot of shorts. Dresses. And no, short dresses, short, I mean, just jeans. Tell them that this is how you slept yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as we left, I mean, we left the airport, the Ethiopian airport, I asked uh, my brothers, no way, do they have air condition here? Oh, it's the weather. <laughs> <laughs> they are like, it's the weather. <laughs> Seriously, and when we check, when you check um, the, the 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 temperature, the, 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 temp, the okay. temperature, he had last, last night was nine and this morning was seven, and I had eleven in a little bit in the morning, and then we checked the same time in Ghana. Ghana was twenty six degrees Celsius, so it means that even apart from checking whether the climate, whether they're in their rainy season or what. Ethiopian weather, I think, is a little bit cold. Anyway, okay, um, this is Portia. She she started a YouTube channel, so I'll be very happy if mm -hmm. you guys should check out. So, what's your YouTube channel ID? Yo, I use Potito GH. Potito GH. Yeah. And okay, good. So, um, I'm a musician. I have a music school by name Genius Music Consult. So, Genius Music Consult, what we do is um, we train people how to play musical instruments. I mean, any musical instrument at all that you can think of. Alright, so thank you very much for checking us out. Subscribe to her channel. Check what out her. Um, check out his his uh, business. Genius Music Consult on right. Facebook. Get in touch. Inside everything, <laughs> I'm also into cultural dance. So yeah. if you are coming to Ghana and you want to dance, do the local dance, the traditional dance. Just yeah, make sure you get in touch and then yeah, right. I'm gonna be dancing with uh, the locals here in Ethiopia, the yeah. traditional one. So watch out for that video also. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share. Peace. Hi, peace. <laughs> Bye-bye.